Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Great Minds in STEM Conference. Please welcome tonight's Master of Ceremonies, the 15th Superintendent of the Virginia Military Institute and GMIS board member, Major General Retired Cedric T. Wins. On behalf of my fellow Great Minds in STEM board members and the entire GMIS family of staff, volunteers, and stakeholders, I'd like to welcome you to the beautiful city of Pasadena. It is my distinct honor to host this annual event, which kicks off the resumption of our annual conference in person after two years of virtual gatherings. Two years of virtual gatherings that were forced upon all of us by the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a, it's a tradition at GMIS that the first recognition event of the conference be dedicated to the men and women of our nation's armed forces and wider defense community. And this is by design. It allows great minds in STEM to showcase the best and the brightest minds across the many entities under the direction of the Department of Defense and Homeland Security, and to celebrate the contributions Hispanics have made and are making to the defense of our nation. Tonight, we're going to meet eight individuals who exemplify this year's theme, passion plus perseverance, and who truly embody what it means to be STEM heroes. This dinner is also a chance to come together as a community of military branches, civilian commands, and private sector contractors to focus on why we do what we do. Collectively, we represent some of the most advanced technology organizations in the world. The people in this room are conducting leading or supporting cutting edge research and development of everything from fundamental materials to advanced satellites and communications to next generation weapon systems and to greenhouse gas reduction technology. And we're doing it with a focus on diversity and inclusion that's been mandated from the Joint Chiefs of Staff on down. We represent the future of science and technology, engineering and math in this country. And we are the backbone supporting America's overall technological dominance. And while we engage in friendly competition across branches and agencies for contracts, appropriations and personnel, we share an unshakable commitment to our men and women in uniform. We collectively work every day to ensure we remain the best equipped, best trained, and most technologically advanced fighting force the world has ever seen. There have been several developments, both globally and domestically, since we last gathered in person. Developments that are having a tremendous impact on the future of the Department of Defense and on the national security policy more broadly. At home, the credibility of government institutions across the board have been under assault like never before. Challenging the national security and intelligence community to refocus attention and assets on the specter of domestic terrorism or a repeat of the horrendous scenes we saw play out on January 6, 2020. And abroad, historic adversaries are once again on the march, testing the resolve of our alliances in Europe and Asia, threatening the American-led global order like we haven't seen since the height of the Cold War. Even as our national security apparatus recalibrates for this moment in history, we must remain vigilant against existing threats emanating from instability in the Middle East and Africa and out on the high seas. We must continue to support natural disaster response and relief efforts like Hurricane Ian and Fiona that have devastated Florida and Puerto Rico in recent weeks. 
and we must expand and strengthen our outreach and recruitment efforts to ensure that the senior leadership ranks at the Pentagon, across our community of agencies and national laboratories, and at our vital private sector defense contractors reflect the rich diversity of our nation. During periods of great consequence, like we are entering, it's more important than ever at all segments of our population that we have a seat at the table as monumental shifts in policy and investments are decided. We at Great Minds in STEM are committed to the continuing partnerships with all of you to pursue these objectives and to ensure more Hispanics and people of color follow in the footsteps of tonight's honorees.